if he had bar fights after that, there were a couple of guys. Uh, I had one in my territory too, King Tonga. Yeah. <laughs> he used to. And uh, but uh, I, when I had the business, I mean, I wouldn't tolerate. I said, Do "You guys are professionals. Try to behave like professionals." Now, King Tonga, his stories have become legendary now. Uh, do you have any examples of some amazing... <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I've got the one time in Quebec City, the c cops came in, they said, don't go out that door, because I think they were called the, the Car Caruso or something. Anyway, two brothers, supposedly street fighters, tough guys. So uh, they got because they said uh, so they said uh, take that door and everything. He said no, I'm going out that door. So by the time the cops they start following him, but they were by the time he got out there, one of them was laid out. The other one he had half his teeth already out, broken out of his boot. He just you know, he just didn't care. I mean, another time another guy came in and said, oh yeah, you, know, you phony wrestlers, you fakers, this and that, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, he's going, yeah, 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 yeah. And the guy pushed him, kind of. As soon as he touched him, that was a mistake. i never seen a guy hit the floor so hard and not move. I don't know. He, be, he hit him, I think. I think it was... First he hit him with a kick in the ribs. And the guy went like this. And as he did after that, he, with his open hand, I think he hit him under the nose. And the, the guy just collapsed there. That was it. 